everybody. How's it going? I have an empties video. Let's start out with like the most boring stuff. We go through these like crazy. Oh. Dry shampoo. This is my favorite one. This is the cheapy, you know, like two to three dollar um, range. Got to be rocking it. Forever Style Stay Dry Shampoo. This is okay, but it's only because they were out of my regular stuff, so... Oh, I'll be purchasing that again. Uh, my favorite, Lady Mitchum Advanced, with the oxygen and all that good stuff. This is the Powder Fresh Scent. That's the one I like the most. Those, I bought all the time. They were out of that one, so I bought this Secret Outlast Completely Clean. Did not like it. Couldn't wait to go back to the regular one. Uh, these from Bath and Body Works. This is my favorite scent. Favorite scent from them. It's the Black Cherry Merlot. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, there's some left in here. That is a different repurchase over and over and over again. These are the Spring Valley Prenatal Chewable Vitamins. No, I am not pregnant. But I enjoy these very much. I don't know why. But I like these better than any other chewable vitamins. So, those are a definite repurchase. Adult Gummy B Complex. I like gummy uh, vitamins. I went through this Biotin 1000 MCGs. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I have since graduated to the 5,000. These things, um, I am no longer going to use these things. I went back to washcloths and very happy about that. This was my husband's. It's very weird looking. Like it's got the loofah on the one side and the poopy thing on the other side. This thing was pretty cool, but it's ancient. So he has since moved on to just washcloths too. I don't know why. They're just better. Um, Q-tips, always and forever. Um, these were the Q-tips that have the pointed edge on them. Um, I do like these. I do have a couple left, but I just have them um, just in my my drawer here. Next, John Frieda, um, the Brilliant Brunette uh, Multi-Tone Revealing Daily Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, these were really good. I liked them. Um, would I purchase them again? I might. I might. I'm more into the cheap stuff because, well, especially like shampoo. To me, shampoo is shampoo or shampoo. Um, but conditioner, to me, I go through way more conditioner than I do shampoo. So, um, I probably would purchase it again. Um, I think it was, uh... The shampoo bottle, it was so hard to squeeze it out of it. That that drove me nuts, that one. Maybe it was just that one. Um, see, like, here, there's cheapy shampoo, green apple, um, suave shampoo. Love it. Um, we have some Head & Shoulders 2-in-1 Silk, Smooth and Silky. Um, this is for when I'm super lazy and don't want to use a separate shampoo and conditioner. Um, this is, uh, it's from the dollar store. It was an acne body wash. It was horrible. Never again. Another John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Shine Shock. Uh, this was okay, but the shine in it was actually just like gold glitter. I don't understand that, but it was okay. I won't purchase that again. We got the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control 3-1 Foaming um, Wash. Uh, this was fine. Um, I think my only problem was is my dog knocked it over and um, broke the cap. So I constantly had to open it like this, open it like this every, every single day to use it. Um, so would I purchase it again? Yeah. Um... But I'll probably keep it away from the dog. We have a, I think this was a sample, Satin Care um, with Olay. It was fine. Um, this here is the Proactive Revitalizing Toner. I do, li I do like it. I would purchase it again. Totally. We have the Bior Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. These are always fun. 
So yes, I would purchase them. Uh, we got the Equate, which is the Walmart brand refreshing apricot scrub. I like it just fine. Just like the other one. Mm, even smells good. <laughs> I would definitely do that again. We got the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Plus Keratin. Um, this smelled like... Ugh, ugh. Smelled so bad. I would not... Mm, I Benefits in hair weren't even worth the smell because the smell just lingered and lingered and lingered. Never again. Okay, I got the Pons um, Deeps or Deep Dark Spot Correcting Cream. Um, didn't fix any dark spots. Would I purchase it again? Nah. Um, we have an Elf um, eyelash curler. Um, the only reason why I bought this is because I wanted the little black piece out of it. Because I like my original e.l.f. eye curler. This thing is the bomb. And I can't find it anymore. So I'm holding on to it for dear life. There's another hair thing. Garnier Fruit Tees uh, Sleek and Shine Flat Iron Perfector. This stuff sucked. Toothpaste Crest Pro Health uh, Clinical Gum Protection. Um, I like this one very much. It's the Smooth Mint flavor. I like that one. I accidentally bought something else this next time, so I will go back to that once the other stuff's gone. Let's see. Got some, ooh, Dollar General eye makeup removers. Loved them. Will purchase again. I need to go to the store and get some. Um, I got a couple of the CVS unscented washcloths. Love them. Will purchase over and over and over again. I uh, got the Equate pink grapefruit oil-free cleansing towelettes um there's still some in here these things suck never again that scent thing lingers and lingers and lingers on those <clears throat> my daughter's lady yeah man okay um i tried these living proof restore shampoo and conditioner i really liked them i wonder I don't know. These are probably really, really, really expensive. So if I had a coupon, you know, I'd probably get this. We got the Fakai Technician Color Care Shampoo and 3-Minute Mask. I liked it a lot. Again, these are probably one of those really, really expensive shampoo and conditioners. So I probably, hmm, I probably wouldn't. We have an Olay Daily Facials Cleansing Cloth. This was just a sample Nothing to write home about. I'm surprised I even put it in here. Uh, Dollar General Cotton Rounds. Did not like them. Um, I like the ones with the the exfoliators on them. Those I like to use. We got uh, Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I think I got this either in an Ipsy bag or a Birch Box. Um, this was really nice. Would I purchase it again? Mm, probably not. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What do I got? This is a Bath and Body Works wallflower. As you can see, it is not empty. Why, ladies and gentlemen? Because it, it smells good just like this. It is the mint. Let's see. It's the mint mocha bark. I think I bought it around Christmas time. Um... It smells so good, just like this. But when you put it in the burner, oh, it smells horrible. Oh, it smells so bad. I just, I guess when it's hot, it just doesn't smell good. So unfortunately, this got wasted. When I purchase this one again, heck no. Uh, when I purchase wallflowers again, oh yes, definitely. I like, I like those. The Wish Shave Cream and the Pink Grapefruit. Really nice. I like that. Purchase it. Probably not. It's probably too expensive. Um, I got some makeup and stuff. Woohoo! That never happens. Um, but I got a lot of um, nail polish, though. This was just some Deb nail polish. Purchase? No. Um, this is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nail Extreme Wear in red carpet. I love this color. It's full of 
flecks of like red glitter inside red nail polish. Love it. I will definitely purchase that again. Ooh, this looked like it exploded. <laughs> um, I remember where we got this OPI nail lacquer. Would I purchase it again? Uh, OPI, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it to me, you know, because there's so many cheap ones that are just, just as good. Uh, this is the Sinful Colors. This It's just running out. There's nothing left in it, but this one was um, white with the silver and uh, multicolors uh, flex in there. Um, so yeah, I would purchase that again. This is another Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. This one was in lilac. Oh, lacy lilac. Uh, it was okay. Um, I love the red one, but the purple one wasn't as good. Okay. We got a Mary Kay eye primer. Um, it was okay, but I have really, really oily lids, so it wasn't the best. It was all right. We got a NYC Smooth Skin Powder. Well, let me make sure it's not just broken. Nope, it's just old. It's just really, really old. Um, so that's why I'm throwing it away. I have much better skin powders. Uh, let's see. Anything else left in here? Yeah, this thing. Um, it's be a bombshell. Um, who gave this to me? Um, it just dried up. It's all, it's so dry. It's dry as can be like a, I could rub and rub and rub it and it just won't do anything. Um, would I purchase it again? Probably not. I have so many highlighters anyway, so. Um, I have this sample from Benefit, the real push-up liner. <laughs> this was not a mechanical one. Like you literally had to press it like this. It still feels like there's stuff in it, but it's just dry, dry as a bone. Even when I tried to use it, it would just, like, you put it on and then it would just roll right off. I won't buy that crap. Okay, I think this is the last thing. Um, I had gotten some samples from Sephora for the Makeup Forever and the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo. Um, I like both. The Makeup Forever, I think it was the matte, matte velvet. Um, it's okay. Um, it stays matte, but there's like hardly any coverage. And then the Kat Von D, it's very, very matte, but it was like way too pink. So I bought myself a different color here. Um, it's a little more yellow tone for me. Um, but I do like it. I like it a lot. Um, other than that, I think that was it. Now I have a mess to clean up. Oh, God bless America. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please, you can smack me across the face because I keep looking up rather than in the camera. I don't know why I do that. Um, uh, I think that was it. Yeah, that was everything. All right. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, I guess I will talk to you later.